hello guys welcome to my channel Aura Tricks. and in this video I'm going to show you the demonstration of uh, postman application right so uh, in the last video we have seen the uh, demonstration on uh, rest services like this one and we have been implemented uh, we have implemented one uh, uh, let's say for example this one view so if I copy it then and if I paste it over here so I'm getting the data right so now so I'm not going to do this every time right so we have some solution and I would suggest you to go for uh, one application that is a postman like this one right so here you can pass uh, the URL which you get uh, after uh, you know creating your modules and this one so in last video uh, we have uh, created one module under this and uh, in which we have uh, created a query uh, based on uh, this get method and which was uh, absolutely simple like uh, you are, we are just getting the product ID and uh, product name from it the demo product information right so now today uh, we will be focusing on uh, retrieving the data uh, and test the uh, URLs whatever we are getting from here from the rest uh, into this postman and we will get uh, to uh, know where but uh, how this postman application is working right so let's uh, move uh, we will also see that how to enable and disable that uh, rest services through the object browser also in apex right so let's start now now suppose i have some url already uh, so that i can move fastly so uh, you just need to create uh, one uh, you know uh, new collection you can have uh, so like as i have this one computer learning ords and postman echo uh, like you know you can have one so you just need to click on this one link so you are entering a new request so let me just copy this one and uh, okay i just need to paste the url okay you just let me just copy the last one which we have created in the last video so that you can understand it properly so we have been created this one we have created this one okay right let me copy this one and paste for the first demo uh, here you just need to uh, focus on this thing so if your query is a get then you are supposed to select a get there are a number of options but we will be focusing on get post put and delete right so with the, this four option we are going to work so just click on the send button if it shows this first uh, thing which you need to check is this 200 ok message if it is ok if your query files properly then you will see this response right 200 ok then you can see uh, you are getting a, a response you know from your uh, URL on JSON right it's in the JSON format as we have uh, selected over here so I'm getting all the records here right so now we can work on this let's uh, let's say for example I have already uh, created uh, some queries for you so that we can run it fastly and understand the things so this is the simple query which we need to pass the second one is uh, a little bit different this is uh, based on the CMS underscore marks table so let me take you to these uh, that uh, particular table so this is here cms underscore marks uh, this one you just need to go to the rest this option okay here you can see that i have clicked on this enable object okay so if you are uh, clicking on this button and you apply it you will automatically see this restful uri right so i can click on that right and I can make paste it over here right so that is CMS underscore marks and if you click on send so you will be able to get all the records from this right so postman also give you some uh, different methods uh, so that you can run it properly like uh, let me show you a second method of retrieving the data for a specific item as you can see there are uh, lots of data see there are number of data available for with us but there are different IDs associated with it right so let me say uh, say for example I want to get the data of 73 uh, max PK of 73 so just uh, apply the where clause like the full URL will remain same but just at the end of it you're going to pass this 73 right so you will be receiving just click on send okay 
so as you can see you are receiving only one data right rather here we get multiple almost all the data right so there is a difference between that uh, simple query and this one where close if you apply over here just you just need to pass this ID over here and can click on this so you uh, this application uh, gives you an uh, you know some uh, easiness uh, in uh, not executing the query uh, at the runtime you can check over here you can uh, come down in this one just uh, create a tab and you know you can done with it now the next thing uh, we, I would like to show you that is the post method okay we will cover uh, get and post over we, uh, we have done this uh, with the get and let me click on this post method so I have applied this one on the delete underscore me table so let me take you to the delete underscore me table and uh, let me show you the table so this is a table structure and have uh, some data in it right so let's check this uh, rest it is currently enabled right and if you want to insert a new data let me show you the data so one two three four is there so uh, I would be uh, doing this fifth number and let me let the data would be uh, it can be like J right and uh, let me change the gender also the survey okay uh, if I click on the send button uh, we should be able to get this data into the uh, table just click on say, send and you can see that 201 created and it uh, also let me take you downward towards it also shows that uh, this much data has been entered we have not entered anything under date DOB so DOB is uh, left blank so uh, it also gives you the URL right so like this one so if you want to check that uh, whether the data is there or not you can click on this one right and just click send and you receive the data right so that also is there if you post it then in return you will get the different you know uh, options or URL so now let me check uh, go and check in this one so whether we received or I just need to refresh it just click as you can see the fifth data is available right so now let me uh, uh, explain you that if I click on this no okay I don't want this rest and apply right and uh, as you can see that URL is uh, gone and it shows me the table deleted successfully now uh, sorry uh, that is uh, unsuccessfully right we don't want that uh, rest to be executed uh, now I'm clicking this uh, table again it's so now, now I'm getting 404 not found error so you have to have this uh, enable and apply okay and authorization is uh, should be no and let me uh, just uh, change the ID and click on send and it's uh, some bad request is coming just a minute oh yeah that was a minor error okay I just need to change the name so I have changed it so if I click on the sand okay 201 is created I just need to go to the table just click on this and the data is here right so this is a simple method of you know applying uh, how to insert the data you are just need to go to this body and you need to create right like this you know student ID is equals to you uh, that this is these are the column names in fact you know this one student ID student name address and gender right and salary and DOB okay fine again we have one uh, table YTC underscore entity type so let me uh, YTC underscore entity type this one so in the data we have two and I'm trying to add the third data so as soon as I click on send it's created successfully as you can see the data is there just check the chain data yes table is also containing the data so uh, it will give you a one uh, you know kind of uh, easiness where uh, you just uh, have uh, this URL type just paste your URL just click on the send button you will see each and every detail about your uh, uh, you know uh, rest uh, API's or uh, rest services which you have uh, just created uh, uh, you can have uh, different rest services over here right we have some 
uh, like this employees and you can have uh, we know this uh, that from the URL we can have the data like this but uh, you know if you apply this over here just click on the new tab and uh, just click on send button so as uh, you are you're getting 200 ok message and uh, pretty much you know like uh, uh, clear cut uh, uh, JSON is been displayed after the, this one right so hope you like this video and uh, soon uh, we will be working on uh, how to create an application using JSON right I'll be soon uploading a video on that so uh, stay tuned uh, please subscribe my channel uh, so that uh, we can have some more videos thank you thanks so much